Hi, I'm going to test the multi-sig functionality of XRM. So first things first, if you don't have Monero, go to getmonero.com and you can just download the GUI because the GUI comes bundled with the command line wallet. If we look at the help options for the Monero daemon, here you can see that to run on the testnet you need to pass the testnet flag. Now if it's the first time running or you haven't run it for a long time, you will have to do the synchronization, which might take a while. I'm going to create a new test wallet. So first let's have a look at the help. So again, to run the command line wallet on testnet, we pass the testnet flag. And down here we've got bit message arguments which we used for the multisig messaging. Okay, so specify wallet file. If wallet doesn't exist, it will be created. Test one. No wallet found with that name. Confirm creation of new wallet. Yes, enter password for wallets. Enter language. So here's my seed phrase. So here I am in my my account. I've got a balance of zero. Let's see what we can do. Help. Wallet info. So here's my address. So once you've synced the blockchain, you can then start mining on the testnet so that you have funds. And eventually you will have some testnet XMR in your account. Before we get into it, this method actually fails because of a bug. So I have to revert to manually creating a multi-sig wallet and manually doing a transaction. But I'm going to run through the process up to the bug. Next, we need to look at bit message. So if we go to the wiki, we will see that there is a internet forum. Here, someone has kindly linked the app image. So if I run bit message, here we have the user interface. It works like email, but it's built with the same philosophy as Bitcoin. So it has an anti-spamming feature uh, whereby to send a message you have to generate some hash, i.e. do some work in order so you cannot spam the network. And there's various channels you can subscribe to. I haven't actually been able to find a channel that is active, but the BitMessage network is in use as I can see here that I've processed 2,137 person-to-person -person messages and 242 broadcast messages. So if you go to the BitMessage wiki, there's a section on the API and here it shows you how to set the API. So you want to go to a keys.dat file manage keys. So the keys.dat file is in home uh, user config bit message. If you turn on logging on the Monero command line wallet, you will see the error. Here we have an error created from passing JSON uh, in regard to a message from B. 
bit message and if we bring up bit message so we've got this which is clearly base64 here I've got the documentation for manually making a multi-sig wallet and doing transactions so first things first we need to start the Monero daemon and let that run in the background and then we can start going through these steps so create a new wallet now we want to enable multi-sig functionality turn off the timeout and now we prepare the multi-sig and we end up with some tokens that we then have to pass participating members so now I'm going to make another wallet and I'm going to do the same thing so enable multi-sig functionality turn off the timeout prepare the multi-sig okay now we've got two tokens so if I do a multi-sig wallet with two members I just need these two tokens so now we go on to make the multi-sig and then we copy this copy paste and then as an output we get another token which again we have to distribute with participating members and then we call exchange multi-sig keys and copy this token copy paste and copy this token copy paste multi-sig wallet has been successfully created so now I'll do the same for Bob so wallet info will show us that we are a 2x2 two two multi-sig wallet so, so this is my wallet with testnet Monero transfer to the multi-sig address one Monero so now both Alice and Bob in their multi-sig wallet have a balance of one now I've just got to wait for this balance to come unlocked and then we can do a multi-sig transaction as I wait I can prepare the keys for signing the multi-sig transaction so first we have to export export the signing information from each of the participants in the multi-sig wallet and distribute that information and then import them all together ready to sign a transaction so we need to issue this command so export multi-sig info alice info key and then I need to do the same for Bob export multi sig info Bob info key and then the next step is to import them import multi sig info and I'm going to import Bob's key info Bob info key along with Alice's own key info Alice info key and then I will do the same with Bob and then I need to create a transaction 
that will then be signed with that key information. And I'm going to simply send so transfer 0.8xmr. So now we have a file with the information for the transaction. Now that Alice has signed the transaction, Bob needs to do the same. I can just issue this command. This file is in the directory. And lastly, we can submit the transaction. So, in conclusion, Monero definitely doesn't have the user experience for multi-sig wallets to be used daily and by most people. But if you have some funds and you need to privately manage them amongst many people due to Monero's reputation and privacy, multi-sig wallets on Monero are still a good choice. I feel um, to keep your funds private from criminal third parties who may want to take their share.